Hi everybody, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm introducing a brand new project pan. I think I did a fragrance project pan a couple years ago, but I haven't done it in the last few years. But I am so stinking excited to show this to you. This probably is like harking back to be like, Julie, you were talking about fragrance in your New Year's resolution and goals. Yes, I was. So this is just to help me motivate and keep track of how I am doing. So my goal for this year is to use up five mini fragrances, which are things like this cutie pie or this cutie pie. Just little things like this that come. Um, they're normally, I was looking at a couple of these. Some of them like this one, this Chloe one does not have a particular size, but some of them are, they seem to range between like 0 0.20 to 0.30 ounces per like little bottle thing. But I wanna show you what I wanna do. My goal is to use up five of these. Traditionally, I can use about 0 0.2, 0 0.25 per month. Um, but now saying that I'm not using fragrance every day, depending on what I'm doing. I do like to put on fragrance. It helps me like feel put together and more presentable, um, but I don't put it on every day just because I just don't. <laughs> There's no real reason. I just don't put it on every day. I'm hoping this will motivate me to continue using it. So in this project, I wanted to use five, but I threw in seven because I thought seven would be more, be a little bit more realistic of a goal. Um, five was like my low hanging fruit because if I can use one a month and I'm using it maybe every other day, that would be, you know, 10 months and I'd be good to go. But I actually think I'm going to use fragrance a little bit more than that. So I want to put in seven to hopefully get to that 12 month mark. So these are the five that I decided on in no particular order. Um, I love this little Chloe bottle. This is just the original Chloe. It didn't specify if it's eau de toilette or eau de parfum. I'm assuming it is one of those two. But look how cute it is. I love that one. Um, and then I have this one, which I showed you in that video. This is the Flower Bomb. It's the original one by Victor and Rolf. It says four fluid ounces god that seems like a lot hang on there's no way 0.24 fluid ounces in this one but you can see i've already used about a third of it um so i have it marked there this was in a previous project pan so i want to get that one out i actually might keep them and kind of collect them I, don't quote me on that i don't know what i'm doing yet with the empties then i've got the dolce gabbana light blue adorable little package again no size on this but this is the eau de toilette so this one won't last as long um, and I think it's really funny because most of these are going to just have like an open kind of top. So depending on how I can pour it, I'll actually have to see. I do have a diffuser somewhere in my life. <laughs> I think it might be hiding back here. I might do a diffuser. So I might end up like decanting these into a diffuser to make them a little bit easier to use just to make my life a little bit easier. Um, and then this one, Tokyo Milk. Do you remember when this was like all the rage probably four years ago? on YouTube. Um, this is the scent 62 Tainted Love, dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. I bought this one. Well, I remember picking this one up like distinctly. I didn't buy this one that came in like one of the sets, but I think for the fall, this is going to be amazing. The The flower bomb is one of my go-tos. I use this all the time. Um, oh, well, I even have a one ounce of it right there. <laughs> That's how much I like that one. Um, this one is just a standard. This one's probably gonna be summer. Chloe, I thought was like kind of romantic. So I was kind of thinking I might pop this in like now. Um, kind of bleeding into Valentine's Day. This is definitely the most floral out of all of them. It's like definitely a rose-based scent, probably with gardenia in it. I didn't give you scent notes, sorry. I probably should be doing that. <laughs> this one is um, Ellis Brooklyn. This is Sunfruit. This, I must admit, I pulled out just randomly and I was like, oh my God, that smells so good. It smells so good. It's like an earthy fruit. And I really enjoyed that one. So I thought this one would also be really good. This one is not in the shape of a bottle. As you can see, this is a rollerball. Um, but I thought maybe that might be kind of nice too, to do something like that, be different. And is this size, why would they print over the size? They're trying to make my eyes hurt. It says five milliliters. It doesn't give me the fluid ounce though. It does, but it's it's been printed over whatever that B is. Oh, if you could read that, this camera's a whole lot better. And then 
This one is actually a purse spray, but this is by Mugler. This is Angel Nova. And this is like the pink star. And I actually have used this a little bit. So I thought I'd put it in this project to see if I can get it gone. This is bigger. This is gonna be your 0.33 ounce because this is a full purse sprays. But I thought maybe if I could get rid of those five, this one would be a nice one to use. This is like a year round one for me. This is actually one that I've decided that I probably wanna buy the full size of. It's, it just has, it's a little bit cleaner than the rest of them. It's a fruit floral clean scent. Um, I do think there's cotton in it. So that's been nice. And then, this one has been around in my collection since high school. It's the bottle is looking worse for the wear. Um, I might have discussed this before. This came from an island called Nantucket. It is an island um, off the coast of Cape Cod in Massachusetts. I've been going to that island since I was a little girl. I've got ancestors from that island. My great great grandfather was born on the island. So my great great grandfather, my grandfather's father, or grandfather. Yeah, I think my grandfather's father then moved to Boston for a job and then never went back. But this is an oil from the Nantucket Oil Company. I don't think they exist anymore. I did not go the last few years. It's actually been on and off since I've been married because, you know, we've been bouncing around. We lived in Germany. We did not go back <laughs> to Massachusetts from Germany. I ended up exploring Europe. And then when we lived in Tacoma, Washington, like that was so far to travel. Um, now we're in Illinois. It's a little bit closer, but it's still like a halt and a half fly there but um, I think we're gonna go back this summer which I'm super super excited about but this is called Nantucket Rose sorry that was a long story short Nantucket Rose um and this you can kind of see the oil is changing a little bit uh, now oils don't really go bad per se but it is time I do believe I bought this in high school and I am 36 years old so um I'm gonna try and use this up as well and you'd be like wow Julie there's like nothing left in there yeah but like this little bottle, when they sold it to me, said it was going to last a full year, <laughs> like a full year. So I don't know how much is left in that <laughs> two months worth. I don't know. But we're going to see how this all ends up. That's the end of the story. We're going to see how this all ends up. Thank you for letting me ramble. Um, I've got seven fragrances in here. Let's see how many I can use up by the end of the year. My goal is five. And it's going to be the five minutes to start with. And then I'll kind of end up with these other two. But thank you all so much for watching. Happy painting. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.